Hey everyone! Today we're going to begin learning about the coordinate plane, which we will be learning for a few days. And I know that you have started to learn this in other grades, so we're going to start today's video with a do now to see how much we remember. So right now I'd like for you to copy down this coordinate plane in your notebook with the points on there and answer this, the questions. When you are done doing this, you can unpause the video to check your answers. Okay, so for number one, we want to figure out the coordinates of points A, B, and C. So, point A, to figure out the coordinates, don't forget we write them, ooh, that's a parenthesis, we do X first, and then the Y coordinate. And they're in parentheses like this, so let's take a look at A. First, I look at my X axis, A is on 1 and for y it's on 2. So the ordered pair for a would be 1 comma 2. The ordered pair for b would be 3 and then 1, up 1. And the ordered pair for c, well we're on 5 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis. So c would be 5 comma 4. Point d is at 4, 3. Plot point D on the coordinate plane. Well, first we look at the x-axis, so 4 has to do with the x-axis. So 4 is here, and then the 3 is on the y-axis. So we go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and here's point D. Now, if you did not remember how to do these or have not seen this before, that's okay because that's what we're going to be learning today. But I know some of you have seen this before. So before we go any further, let's copy down some vocabulary. And feel free to pause the video whenever you need to so you can copy this down in your notebook. Okay, coordinate plane. What is a coordinate plane? It's the grid formed by the x-axis and the y-axis. So this right here, this is a coordinate plane. The x-axis is always the horizontal line. Think X is like a cross, so X goes across, so it's horizontal. And the Y axis is the vertical number line. It goes up and down. So this is your coordinate plane. Quadrants, what are those? The quadrants are the four sections of the coordinate plane. So one, two, three, four. And they're numbered as well. Quadrant one is this one. This is the one that you've probably worked in the most so far. Um, quadrant 1, quadrant 2 is over here. We're going counterclockwise. Quadrant 3 is down here. And quadrant 4 is right here. It's super important that you know which quadrant is which. And yes, we always use Roman numerals to write quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. We don't use regular numbers. So those are my four quadrants on my coordinate plane. So now let's talk about coordinates. Coordinates are an ordered pair that gives the location of a point on a coordinate plane. So that's kind of what we did in the do now. And the coordinate pair, the first number always represents the number on the x-axis, and the second number always represents the location on the y-axis. It always goes in that order, x then y. There is one special ordered pair that's super important. And that is called the origin. The origin is the ordered pair 0, 0. So 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. And that is right in the middle. Your origin is where the x and the y-axis cross each other. That's super important too. Um, let's give another example of a coordinate. Um, I think I have one here somewhere. Oh yes, point P, there we go. So here's a random point, point P, and it's on the coordinate plane. And I want to know what are those coordinates. First I have to figure out where it is on the x-axis. So I'm going to count over to P. One, if this, the, remember the origin is zero, so this would be one, two, three, four, 
5. It lands on 5 for the x-axis. Now I have to figure out where it lands on the y-axis. So I'm going to count up 1, 2. So the ordered pair for point P is 5, 2. Those are the coordinates of point P. And that's what we will be practicing today. If you didn't finish copying this down, make sure you pause the video so that you can copy down all of these definitions. Now remember, a horizontal number line looks like this with the positive numbers increasing to the right and then the negative numbers getting smaller to the left. Remember, negatives go backwards. A vertical number line looks like this. Zeros in the middle, all your positive numbers increase going up, and then your negative numbers go in the other direction, going down. So on our coordinate plane, we know that we have a horizontal and a vertical number line together. So if I put these two number lines together, and I match up my zeros, our coordinate plane looks something like this. We have positive numbers going to the right, negative numbers going to the left, and then we have positive numbers going up and negative numbers going down. So this is how our coordinate plane looks in terms of positive and negative numbers. Let's practice a little bit with this. Okay, so directions for each um, each of these points, we are going to write the ordered pair. Oh, that should say pair. Write the ordered pair for each point on the coordinate plane. Then state which quadrant the point is in. So we're going to do that together. So uh, number letter A, let's take a look at point A first. I need to figure out the ordered pair. So first I have to figure out where is A on the x-axis. Remember this is zero. My middle number is zero, so if I'm counting to the right, this is going to be positive one, two, three. A lands on three on the x-axis, and then for the y-axis, we count up one, two. So the ordered pair for A is three comma two. And this quadrant is quadrant one, so I'm just going to put Q1. Point B, where's point B? It is down here. So the x-axis, well, it's going to the right, so I know it's going to be positive. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lands on six on the x-axis. And then now we're going to count down for the y-axis. And we know down is negative, so this is going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five negative 6. So point B is on the coordinate 6 comma negative 6. Now which quadrant is this? Well we know this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is quadrant 4. All right, point C. And now if it helps you to write in the numbers, you can do that. We can write in our numbers here. Same thing for the y-axis. We have our positives and negatives for the x-axis. We have our positives and negatives for the y-axis. So let's count point C. Point C we see is on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the left, which means negative 7. So my x-coordinate would be negative 7. And then my y-coordinate is going to be up. 1, 2, 3, so that's a positive 3. And this corner is quadrant 2. Point D, we're going to the left for the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, so my x-coordinate is negative 3. Then my y-coordinate, we're going down, so that's going to be negative, is 1, 2, 3. So my y-coordinate is also negative 3. So the point for uh, the coordinates for point D are negative 3, negative 3. And this is quadrant 3. So there we go. That's how we write the ordered pair for points on a coordinate plane. 
now I want you guys to try. So, uh, pause the video for a second so that you can copy down this grid and these points. If you want to write in the numbers, that's fine. Just make sure you're um, being careful of which way the positives and negatives go. So write the ordered pair. Oops, didn't write pair in here either. Write the ordered pair for each point on the plane and then tell me what quadrant it is in. And when you are done, you may hit play and check your answers. Okay, let's go over some of these answers. So point A, we see is two on the x-axis, and if we count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the ordered pair for point A is two comma eight, and that's in quadrant one. Point B over here, we see it's to the left, so that's gonna be in the negatives for the x-axis but up, so it's gonna be positive for the y-axis. Point B is on negative five comma four. One, two, three, four, five, and then up four, and this is quadrant two. Point C, we can see is down here in quadrant four, and it's on, if we count out, this is eight, and down one, two, three, four. So this is gonna be eight comma negative four, and it's quadrant four. Point D, I see over here in quadrant three, and it's going to the left, one, two, three, four, and down, one, two, three, four. So that's negative four, negative four in quadrant three. Point E is a funny one. I see it's to the left on the x-axis, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's on negative seven, but it didn't go up or down. So if it didn't go up one or down one, we're still on zero. So the y coordinate would just be zero here. So this ordered pair is negative seven, zero, and it's not really in a quadrant, it's just on the x-axis. And finally, letter F we see is over to the right one and then down two. So this ordered pair is one negative two, and it's in quadrant four. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.